As we've seen so far, the United States is preparing for something big, and it appears to be preparations to deal with mass civil unrest within the United States itself. The preparations by the US government is not about guns as many now believe, but is in fact a simple proactive step in defending the government's authority during a total collapse of the US dollar, which is on the horizon now. Many analysts have stopped asking if, and are now asking when. When the US dollar tanks and is no longer the world's de facto currency, the banks will begin collapsing again, this time with no bailout. People will make a run on the bank, but many will find their money is no longer there, the banks are solvent. The current system is held afloat with bloated valuations, junk bonds, fake profits and the fact that the US dollar is still the world's only currency used to buy and sell oil also known as the petrodollar. The days are numbered now, Russia and China are already making moves to start selling and buying oil under their own currencies. This was honestly a long time coming. But the US has delayed this inevitability by use of the military throughout the Middle East and elsewhere, which happen to be the primary oil generating regions. Also, it's important to keep in mind that the Chinese actually own a majority of the US bonds in circulation. They financially own the United States and you could find yourself using Chinese yuan to purchase your eggs and milk in the near future. That transition will not be a pretty one. And that is the reason the US government is stocking up on ammo, weapons, and a militarized homeland security force. Cause when people finally see what's really been happening and they can't get their money they deposited, shit is really going to hit the fan. Revolution, yes. But always watch what the magician is doing in his other hand while he's performing his trick. It's all about misdirection, 